Hi guys, welcome to Veggie Mama, and today I will be sharing with you um a gluten free crumble. They sell um crumble at the store, but it has gluten in it. And so the Lord gave me this recipe here. I'm gonna I'm gonna use brown rice instead of bulgur wheat or gluten. So this is basmati brown rice. It will not work with the white rice. So you got to get brown rice. I like to use basmati brown rice. So I'm using two cups of basmati brown rice. Let's follow the instruction how to cook the rice and the package. I'm going to be adding, because I want flavor. So I'm going to be adding um, beef style season. You got to get this from your local health food store. This is um, onion powder garlic powder garlic powder and sea salt and also i'm going to be using my infused oil that i made to flavor the rice also so i'm going to wash the rice i'm going to put the seasoning in there put it together okay next i'm going to add four cups of water remember this is two cups of um Basmati brown rice. I'm adding four cups of water to it. Um, one teaspoon of pink salt. One teaspoon of garlic powder. One teaspoon onion powder. Two tablespoons of beef style seasoning. One tablespoon of my oil, infused oil. Just gonna stir this around. Cause I want it, I want it to have flavor to it. So when I put the crumble together, the rice will be flavorful. So I'm gonna let it cook for a medium heat. And what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna put it in high, let it boil, and then I'm gonna turn it to medium for 35 minutes also you want to make sure you cover your pot make sure you cover the put the lid on the pot okay guys so the rice is finished this is um around five cups five cups of rice and I the reason why I use the basmati brown rice because to me it tastes like um, bulgur wheat and I used to use the bulgur wheat for my crumble. And because I'm gluten free now, I use the basmati brown rice that to remind me of um, the, the bulgur wheat. So this finished, so I'm gonna put this together. I have my homemade tomato sauce. I'm gonna be using two cups of that with a cup and a half of um, walnut and one full cup of molasses. I'm gonna blend it all together. So let's get started again. Okay, so I'm going to be adding another cup of tomato sauce in here to my Vitamix. You want to get an, um, a strong blender. If not, you just um, divide up the batch like half and a half. My walnut, a cup and a half walnut with my molasses. I'm just gonna blend. Okay, so I'm finished blending. like this I'm gonna pour it in my, my rice and this is gonna be uh, if you don't have you you could get um you could buy store brand tomato sauce I just made some homemade tomato sauce from the um got my tomato from the garden very excited so I just wanted to use those but I normally use um the store brand tomato sauce I'm just gonna get everything in here then we'll mix it up. Okay guys, at this time, I'm just gonna stir it around. 
And what I'm going to do, I'm going to be adding some um, more salt to it, maybe. Um, see, a teaspoon of salt, my pink salt, and some onion powder, maybe a teaspoon of onion powder. And I'm going to drain my molasses. I didn't get all of it in the blender, just going to drain it out. So altogether, I use like one fourth cup of molasses. I'm going to mix it around in here. And I'm going to put this in a cookie sheet, a um, spray cookie sheet. And then I'm going to let this completely dry out in the up. Uh, maybe I'm going to put a 250 for, say, one hour. Check it at 45 minutes. You want it to be dry, but you don't want it to be that dry. So, it's like this. And the reason um, I went to Kroger and I bought this here. They have the meatless crumble, vegan. So I was looking at it, I'm like, okay, is this gluten-free? Because I know our morning store, they carry this also, but have they have wheat in it. So it was, um, I saw this one, it said um, made with soy. So I see vegan, but I didn't see anything that said gluten-free. So just to be on the safe side, you know, I've made mine with rice, with the brown rice. So that's when I show you guys, just in case you used to um, eat the crumble with um, gluten in it, you could do it this way with the, you could make your own. It's even more healthier too. So let me get the cookie sheet and put it in the oven. Okay, so I'm just gonna press, um, where, yeah. Spray the cookie sheet. Okay. I'm gonna pour this on top of it. You wanna make sure you spread it out real good. Make sure it bakes evenly. You'd be amazed at this taste. You could you could use this for um, taco filling. You could make this use it to make burgers. You could use this to make um, whatever. Um, you could use hamburger helpers. You could do so much stuff with this here. Could do um we call it mashed potato put it on top of there it looks like that okay so it's pretty much even I want to make sure and then I'm just gonna like I said put it in the oven for um one hour or hour and a half 250 temperature and just check it at 45 minutes just want to make sure you know it's dry up properly not too dry I will show you what it looks like okay guys so this was um one hour so I'm gonna turn it around and show it to you guys looks like this so I'm going to probably let it stay in there for another half an hour and just watch it to see, you know, what it looks like drying it out. Because normally when I do it, I just don't time it. I just put it together. <laughs> I'm doing it for YouTubers, so I want to make sure I give you guys the right amount of time. Okay. Okay, guys, so this is finished. All together, it was um, two hours I have it in there for, and I just let it, when it's finished, I just let it sit in the um, the oven to cool. So it's, you know, it looks like this, and it's very, it smells really, really good. 
So I'm just going to put it in my bowl and put it in a Ziploc bag and freeze them. I have this much um, compost a lot in here. So I'm telling this is um, very um, inexpensive um, to make and you know you make it for yourself. It's clean, it's gluten free, you have to worry about if it's having any gluten in it, you know, it's, and it's very delicious. Okay, so I'm going to be putting these in Ziploc bags and bagging them up. I got to just put it in Ziploc bag just like this. Put it in the freezer. You can use it whenever you want to use it. So all together I bagged two, I did two bags. Oh, this, is, this is fairly big um, Ziploc bag. So I'm going to be doing some wraps. I'm going to do a video with this. So use these gluten-free wraps I got from Aldi to wrap. To make some wraps so guys i hope you try this recipe like this video share and subscribe and let me know if you if you um let me know when you try the recipe you know what you think of it you know if it was good but didn't if it wasn't good just give me a feedback thanks for watching